We have already seen the procedure to compute a singular value decomposition of a matrix. Let us now look into two explicit examples to see where the technical difficulties arise in some specific cases. So we have a 2 by 3 matrix A and a 3 by 2 matrix B and we are going to compute the singular value decomposition of A and of B. Let's start with A. So what do we need to do? First compute A transpose a times A, well you can do that yourself, and then you need the eigenvalues of A transpose times A, well you already see the one sitting here, so one will be an eigenvalue, uh, you see two rows are the same, so the matrix uh, will have a zero eigenvalue, so you know one and zero are eigenvalues, and then you can use a trace to compute the third, which is two. So eigenvalues are two, one and zero. If you want you can use the characteristic equation as well of course, but this is a bit faster. So then the singular values will be the square root of 2 and 1 and 0, but we are not going to use that one. Only the square root of 2 and 1, we only use the non-zero singular values. Now you have to compute all the eigenvectors, so if you just compute eigenvectors without bothering about norms or whatever, you will get 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 and minus 1, 1, 0 uh, for our three uh, eigenvalues. Then we can compute our uh, matrix V. First we normalize our eigenvectors. So V1 has to be normalized, uh, W2 was already normalized, and W3 has to be normalized. And there you have your V. Then we can form the diagonal block of our sigma, put the singular values. We need to get a 2 by 3 matrix, so you have to add a column of zeros. So there you have already your sigma. Now we want to compute our u. So your u1 will be 1 over sigma 1 times a times v1. So here you have your uh, 1 over sigma 1, here you have your a and here you have your v1. So use for example row column rule, you get 1 over square root of 2 plus 1 over square root of 2 plus 0. So 2 over square root of 2 divided by square root of 2 gives you a 1. And the other component you can do it yourself gives a 0. So u1 will be 1, 0 and as you see, automatically normalized. Similarly, you can compute u2. You have 1 over sigma 2 times a times v2. Sigma 2 equals 1, so you get a 1 over 1. Here you have your a, and here you have your uh, v2. So the first inner product gives you 0, second inner product to 1, divided by 1. So you get just 0, 1. So there you have your matrix u, and there you have your singular value comp decomposition for the matrix a. So, as you see, not uh, too difficult, uh, very similar to the computation of a diagonalization of a matrix A. Let's move on to the matrix B, because there is a slightly tricky part somewhere, as you will see. First part goes similarly. Compute your B transpose times B, 2 by 2. Uh, now your eigenvalues will be 3 and 1, as we did in an earlier video, so your singular values will be square root of 3 and 1, compute the eigenvectors first without bothering about norms, w1 equals 1, 1 and w2 equals minus 1, 1, and then you need to normalize again to get your v1 and v2. So far so good. Now, forming your v is easy, just put v1 and v2 in your matrix, forming your sigma is easy, put the diagonal block and add in this case a row of zeros to get a 3 by 2 matrix, so there you have already your matrices V and sigma. But now U. U1 is clear. Compute uh, U1 equals 1 over sigma 1 times B times V1. So here 1 over sigma 1, the B and the V1. You can compute it yourself, there you go. And U2 similarly, 1 over sigma 2, B times V2, 1 over sigma 2, B, V2. Compute yourself, there you have your U2. Nicely normalized and orthogonal. But now, you have to determine some u, u3. So first we determine a u3 hat without bothering about its norm yet, uh, which is orthogonal to u1 and u2. So we just take some vector in R3, hope it's not in the span of u1 and u2, hope it's some other vector like that. So just take something like 001 for example, an easy one, and then we use gram to form an orthogonal basis, and in that way we find a third factor for our matrix U. So we take, for example, E3, you can take E1 or E2 or uh, your, your favorite factor, 
ana yush gram smit well u3 hat will be then e3 minus its projection on u1 and u2 now what well, a nice part is that u1 and u2 are normalized so the uh, uh, the denominators are both 1, so it's the equation simplifies a bit until uh, this expression. Uh, but you still have to compute those inner products here and there. Uh, and you end up with your E3 minus the f first factor minus second factor. And this gives you minus 1 over 3, 1 over 3, 1 over 3. And of course you have to normalize that. So your U3, then if you normalize this factor over here, First you can, for example, turn it into minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, and then normalize. There you have your U3. And then for your matrix U, you plug in your U1 and U2, which you already had, and the newly computed uh, U3. And then you can check that you indeed have B equals this U, this one, times sigma times V transpose. So this is how you find a singular value decomposition of uh, non-square matrices.